uh, that uh, Afghans welcomed uh, the US-led intervention in 2001. Afghans welcomed their presence and asked for continuing presence of the, uh, of the international forces. Uh, they saw uh, the, the presence of the international forces in Afghanistan, the NATO forces in Afghanistan, uh, as the main guarantee against anarchy, chaos, against uh, uh, infighting between uh, commanders, uh, and also a guarantee for not return to what happened in 1990s and 1980s in Afghanistan. Uh, though uh, I think uh, there was uh, a decrease uh, in the degree of, of satisfaction and support for uh, international forces, particularly in the last two to three years. And it this is uh, uh, largely related uh, to the increased insecurity in some areas. Some people uh, in some areas of Afghanistan uh, uh, feel that the presence of NATO, the presence of international forces uh, didn't help them to have more security. Uh, civilian casualties and uh, collateral damages that uh, uh, have been happening uh, during uh, the, the international forces and, and NATO forces operations in Afghanistan uh, had an effect. And uh, uh, so if peop and, and people started to question the role of the, of, of the international forces because Afghans uh, would like to see that the international forces are there to protect them, to give them more security, mm -hmm. and uh, and and uh, uh, <coughs> not by even by accident uh, their operation to have more uh, uh, eff effects and casualties on their life. Mm -hmm. So uh, I still. I think people in Afghanistan know that without the presence of international forces, there will be a uh, more worse situation in Afghanistan. What do you think would be the situation if the Americans and NATO had to leave at this point? How, 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 um, how strong are the uh, security forces? I know they're being yeah. trained by the United States and others. Yeah. We, uh, we have a army of 90,000 forces and we have uh, a police force uh, and w generally I think uh, in the last seven years many attempts were made to build Afghan security forces but uh, I'm not sure that we are still at a stage uh, of managing our security uh, problems w on our own as uh, the newly built army is uh, it needs uh, to to uh, to be trained, to be equipped, to be able to take uh, independent respons res responsibilities. Uh, people know uh, that uh, we need, uh, for some time, uh, uh, the international forces. Uh, without them. Uh, there is a high possibility of Afghanistan to be engulfed in a new wave of bloodshed and conflict. The forces of disruption, the forces uh, that are against stability and peace are still there. They are well armed, they are well connected to the international terrorist networks, the Taliban and their allies Al with Al-Qaeda. Mm -hmm. So uh, they know what happens what's going to happen if the, if the international forces are not there. Uh, but uh, the solution is not to ask for the international forces to stay there forever. This, the best solution uh, is uh, uh, to help the Afghan army and police forces, the security forces, to be trained sooner than later. Yes. And, that is, uh, and, and that would help Afghans, would <coughs> enable Afghans to take uh, the responsibility of dealing with the security with 
defense of the their number, country on, on their own. I guess the right. number I've, I've heard is about 200,000. It's hoped, or maybe the United States hopes that 200,000 Afghan security forces will be trained and that would, that would put you in a much better position. Uh, our army uh, uh, is uh, planned to be uh, 100, uh, 134,000 army and uh, about 100,000 police forces. Maybe the need is more than that, but at least if we are able to get there, to, to, get, there. to, to get there, that that would be uh, a big achievement and that would ena enable Afghanistan and its international partners uh, to deal with, it, with the with the issue of security in a very different way. So in your sense, I mean, what, how long do you foresee the United States and NATO being there? I mean, do you think the Afghan forces will be up to par in a year or two or three? Is, is it, um, you know, sort of a shorter window like that versus really long term? Uh, I think uh, uh, one is how to change uh, the momentum, uh, how to stop the Taliban advances. And one is uh, how to s uh, stabilize Afghanistan uh, uh, in, in all uh, uh, areas. Uh, I think it is, it's a little bit uh, naive to give a, a, a timeline. Uh, the only thing is not only the training of an army. Training, uh, equipment of the army, uh, addressing the needs, uh, the security needs um, uh, in a very uh, complicated environment, uh, in a war with a r or in a conflict with, with uh, deep regional dimension, uh, it, it, it requires uh, uh, a number of steps mm -hmm. to be taken. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that we are going to take soon uh, the responsibilities. I think uh, we would be able uh, to change the dynamic uh, and uh, to, to create more uh, 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 safety environment for people soon rather than later. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are now focused what we can do in the next three to five years mm -hmm. uh, together with our international partners. We hope that within such a timeline we would be able mm, uh, to, to build efficient workable security forces, better governance uh, and deal with, uh, with the the Taliban and, and, and the insecurity problem in a more efficient way. So you're hopeful that the increase of, I guess it's about 20,000 more American troops by the fall will be, will be helpful? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, for any success, you need a minimum security space. Uh, we need to improve governance in Afghanistan. We need to uh, have a civilian surge and development uh, uh, work. Uh, we need uh, to work with our neighbors. Uh, all these uh, uh, attempts and works are interconnected. Uh, so uh, what, what is uh, 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 what is important at this stage is uh, how to do all these things together. The American troops. And the American troops, uh, uh, with the situation we, uh, we deal in tribal areas of Pakistan, uh, uh, with the need to end the sanctuaries, with the need to uh, to change the momentum that Taliban gained in some parts of Afghanistan. With that, you can't uh, start with anything else rather than the force that is needed to address these needs, uh, uh, to address the, the mm. problems. Uh, and uh, as you know, one of the main reasons for increased civilian casualties uh, as a result of the, uh, of the quality